an unusual sight at the Karyoko market in Dar es Salaam, the hub of commerce in Tanzania. On an ordinary day, this is one of the busiest markets, growing traders from even beyond the country's borders. But since Monday, merchants here have downed their tools. They complain of harassment from police and double taxation. For many of them, a new store levy introduced by the government last month was just too much. The main reason for our strike is that we are against the new taxes which have been introduced. As a business owner, I am sure this new tax will harm our business, but also our customers. That is why we decided to come together and have a strike against this new law, because we have already got so many taxes which we pay. Many other businesses dependent on commerce at the expansive market are also counting their losses. It's not just traders who have been affected by this strike. We as street vendors, especially the low-income earning group, have also been affected. Most of the motorbikes have just been parked the whole day. Today is the third day since the strike started. We've really been affected. Such public displays of dissatisfaction with the government are uncommon in Tanzania. Since coming to power two years ago, President Sulu Hassan has been praised for gradually opening up freedoms not enjoyed under her predecessor. Striking traders now have the government's attention. The Prime Minister on Wednesday paused implementation of the new store levy and called for further talks. The striking traders have now been urged to resume business with the promise of having their concerns addressed. Felix Nyawara, Al Jazeera.